my three biggest concerns uh, as it relates to the Colorado River uh, quickly are, uh, you know, we could see a pattern where we become even more dependent upon groundwater systems, our aquifers, many of which throughout the desert southwest hold water that is tens of thousands of years old from the, uh, from the last ice age. And so if, if we become more reliant on that, we have to understand that we're becoming more reliant on water from the ice age. Once that's pumped, it won't come back. And because we are seeing changing precipitation patterns, changing runoff patterns, the aquifers that do get recharged from present day precipitation, uh, they're not going to be recharged in the way uh, the way that they used to be. So how we use groundwater uh, is of paramount importance to me. Uh, number two, I think we have to, as a nation, uh, learn to respect and recognize the water and food nexus. Uh, I think a lot of folks don't realize that the majority of our winter produce is grown with Colorado River water in places uh, like Yuma, Arizona and Imperial County. Um, I think the, uh, the big question is about the relationship with cattle feed that is grown in those places. And you know, there is obviously uh, a big desire by, by many folks to, uh, to get a lot of that uh, out of the ground to free up water to help prop up our, our reservoirs. But I think the question is, is are we going to use that to prop up our system? Or are we going to be trading it off for things like suburban sprawl, for, for growing Las Vegas even more, for growing Phoenix even more, for growing LA even more? So we need to have a serious conversation about how our food is grown, with what water it's grown, where it's grown. And if we do decide to fallow fields in the desert Southwest, where will we be growing uh, the nation's uh, supply of nutrition to, to offset the losses? Uh, third, I think we need to be talking about climate change in, in, in a very serious way. And if we keep ignoring the fact that climate change is water change, we are just rearranging the deck chairs on houseboats at Lakes Mead and Powell. We have to understand that we have seen massive reductions in flows in the Colorado River uh, over the past 20 years. We've seen a 20% decline. We are likely to see an additional 20% decline in flows in the coming years. And we have to understand that uh, man-made systems, anthropogenic climate change, human-caused climate change is exacerbating that and driving that. And until we figure out how to really cut emissions in a serious way, I know Congress has taken some recent actions to do that, but Congress has also taken recent actions to lease uh, every year an additional 62 million acres for oil and gas leasing. So we, we inherently contradict ourselves. I am hearing inherent contradictions in everybody's talking points on the river. And, uh, and so we got to come to grips with, with reality. But I think those three things, understanding groundwater, understanding our food supply, and understanding how climate change impacts all of that, if we're not paying special attention to it, you know, we could be making uh, three giant mistakes.